Arm Systems is back with a new release. Today we're looking at the OM-1 Mark II. This Micro Four Thirds sensor camera not only maintains features that we love from the OM-1, but also has some welcome upgrades such as newly added AI subject detection, improved image stabilization, as well as an increased ND in their newly added GND filter. On the body itself, there's an updated electronic viewfinder with added glass elements, as well as smoother right-hand menu operation. As per OM Systems mantra, these cameras are built for your outdoorsy adventures, which is the case for the OM-1 Mark II with its IP53 weather-sealed and freeze-proof design. So, let's take a look. As a Micro Four Thirds camera, the OM-1 Mark II's sensor allows it to be incredibly portable while still giving you the quality features you need like stabilization, autofocus, and fast processing, making it ideal for creators looking to strike a balance between mobility and performance. The OM-1 Mark II boasts the same high-quality imagery we saw in the OM-1 with a 20 megapixel stack BSI Live MOS sensor and a TruePic 10 processor. This, as Jake told us back then, gives you two additional stops of noise performance as well as one additional stop of dynamic range. You're getting a wide ISO range of 200 to 102,400 with very minimal noise. So you can freeze any fast moving subject. A common theme we've observed with the OM system is how customizable their features are. The OM-1 Mark II offers a variety of different drive modes, allowing you to tailor it to your needs. But the long story short is, you can get up to 120 raw frames per second while you're in fixed point focus and metering modes, and 50 frames per second in auto-focusing modes. While shooting, you're getting a maximum of roughly 219 JPEGs or 213 raw recordable frames, which is an upgrade from the OM-1. This was honestly very impressive, especially when trying to photograph speedy birds. We could just shoot as much as we wanted, never having to wait for it to buffer. However, in the Pro Capture mode, your camera starts taking images before you even press down the shutter. Your camera will record up to 70 frames while your shutter button is half pressed, just to ensure that you get the perfect shot. If you want to get even more particular, you can also adjust your sequential shooting settings to adjust the frames per second. New to the Mark II, though, is the ability to adjust your high-speed sequential shooting to 12.5, 16.7, 25, and 50 frames per second. Now, I know how much you OM system users love your wildlife photography, but the OM-1 Mark II's AI detection autofocus has been updated to include humans to their subject detection modes. This, of course, is in addition to the planes, trains, motorsports, birds, and animals like we saw in the OM-1. You're also getting the same cross-quad pixel autofocusing with 1,053 individual points. This is used to create a detailed depth map for your frame for accurate subject detection and tracking. While out in the field, like us here in Central Park, you may not want to carry any extra weight with you, like a tripod. Luckily for us, the OM-1 Mark II has an in-body 5-axis image stabilizer, which is up their game to compensate for the up to 8 stops of camera shake with the body alone, and 8.5 stops with IS-enabled lenses. This allows you to go handheld for a variety of shooting modes, such as their high-res shooting, which you can select between handheld or tripod capturing for. High-res mode composites a series of 12 images into one higher resolution file and is also highly customizable. You can choose the final file size of your image with handheld mode going up to 50 megapixels and tripod mode for up to 80 megapixels. Both of these modes offer up two stops of reduced noise like we saw in the OM-1. New to the OM-1 Mark II, however, you're able to choose between 12 and 14-bit RAW recording for the high-res images. Another updated feature in the Mark II is the Live ND filter, which digitally simulates a neutral density filter right in the camera. With the release of the OM-1 Mark II comes an increased ND filter, which now goes up to 128. But even more impressive is that the OM has added a new Live GND filter mode as well. The graduated neural density filter goes up to GND8 and allows you to manipulate the angle and position of the filter as well as how harsh the boundary is. The video side largely carries over the same, already impressive specs from the Mark I. Both camera systems allow you to record in DCI 4K 10-bit 420 60p internally, as well as high-speed Full HD video up to 240 frames per second for slow motion playback. OM Log and HLG recording also return here, giving you lots of flexibility to color grade your footage. New to the Mark II is vertical video tagging support and UVC webcam support. OM Systems also announced a new lens. The new ED 150-600mm f5-6.3 to IS lens is a powerful zoom lens, giving you the full frame equivalent of 300-1200mm. 
This allows you to get incredibly close for distant wildlife photography. Coming in at 2065 grams, this lens features 25 elements in 15 groups, including four Super ED lenses, two ED lenses, six HR lenses, and one HD lens. It also supports dual IS sync as well as the MC two times converter. There's your usual button suspects like auto to manual focus, focus limiter switch, image stabilization, lock focus button, and a zoom lock switch. Even though we are only in Central Park, we were able to capture some great bird images with this lens. We found that the combination OM-1 Mark II with this lens was lightweight enough to carry while chasing cardinals around the park, or you can easily attach the lens to your monopod with the tripod mount foot. The OM-1 Mark II is a welcome successor to the original OM-1, retaining a lot of our favorite features like high image quality, customizable shooting modes, and sharp autofocusing capabilities, all while building onto them and refining them. We found that this camera was a breeze to work with even when shooting handheld with the 150 to 600 mm lens. This camera would be great for any wildlife photographer looking for something high quality yet portable enough for travel. But what's your new favorite feature on the OM-1 Mark II? What kind of birds would you like to photograph with it? Let us know in the comments. I'm Scott with B&H. Keep it fun out there, y'all.